Baker County emergency officials have opened two shelters ahead of Michael's landfall. One is set up at McClenny Elementary School. They will accept pets there. The other is a specialty shelter at the hospital. And starting tomorrow morning around 8, Baker County residents can pick up sandbags at the City of McClenny Yard on Heartline Drive. That's behind the health department. You will have to fill the bags yourself when you arrive there. Now, many people in Bradford County are getting ready to put sandbags around their home ahead of Hurricane Michael. Emergency management crews there are closely monitoring the strong weather system. News for Jack's reporter Corley Peels joining us live outside the Bradford County Emergency Operations Center to show us how the county is making sure the community is prepared. Corley? is supplying free sandbags to people living here in Bradford County over the next couple of days. Now, although Bradford County will not have a direct hit, people living here tell me it's better to be safe than sorry. Thousands of sandbags are filled by inmates in the emergency management maintenance yard and being distributed to people living in Bradford County as they prepare for impacts from Hurricane Michael have some low rooms that if the water starts building up, it's going to try to come into the house. Sharon Brooks says sandbags saved her house from flooding during Hurricane Irma. She's hoping for the same outcome as Hurricane Michael could bring in strong winds and rainfall, according to emergency management. I really need them. And like I told the gentleman, I, as many as I can get. People can get up to 12 bags per vehicle as long as supplies last, according to officials. On Tuesday, the sheriff's office says more than 4,800 sandbags were made and more than 1,300 sandbags were distributed. I'm hoping it's just a light, cool breeze like it is today and a little bit of rain. Not a lot. I don't need no flooding, just a little bit of rain. But Brooks says she's still preparing for anything Michael brings. The sheriff's office says they'll continue passing out sandbags as needed. They'll begin distributing the sandbags again tomorrow at 8 a.m. Coming up tonight at 11, we'll take you to a neighborhood that was devastated by flooding last year and how they're preparing for the storm this year. Reporting live from Bradford County, Corley Peel, Channel 4, The Local Station.